Here we go. A bit gloomy in here though, isn't it? Well, for a good reason, actually. Here's an extraordinary new toy I've just received. A kind of um, zoetrope, I don't know what to call it, but it's actually called a novatrope. And you'll see what it does in a moment. It's very, very exciting indeed. It's developed by an American, who I'd love to meet sometime. And it involves these pieces here. Here's one of them, of the five which he's made. This is vaguely like um, a sunflower, isn't it? And in fact, the inspiration for his gadget came from John Edmark, who I've met several times at the Gallery for Gardener, who's examined Fibonacci series involved with the sunflower, and also the fact that when the petals are taken out and rotated in a certain way, in lit, a zoetrope fashion, you get the most extraordinary effects, which is what he's managed to achieve here. So that's one of the items we're going to illuminate and demonstrate. Here's another one. It's here's little balls. Beautiful. It's got a little frame at the back, each one, so that fits into the motor, makes it rotate round. So each piece is going to be rotated and lit from the underside. And here's the third one I'm going to show, which is, I think, my favourite. It's a series of little spiky pyramids, or tetrahedrons, I think, which will grow. So let's have a go and see what happens when we make it perform. You have to take the top off, obviously. Inside we've got a motor you can hardly see there, but the LEDs are very strong, and I'll just light them up to show you what's going to happen. Ooh, look at that. And then we change the colour of the LEDs with this right-hand button. And we're going to light up each of these in turn and see what happens. So here's the first one. I fancy this one ought to be a, a red colour, don't you see? Red colour. Let's have a go. We turn it on. We switch it once to the red. And you have to, in each case, wait about 10 seconds for the thing to stabilise. It's The motor's speeding up. And you have to get the, um, the piece in synchronization to perform its fairly slow but beautiful kind of morphing growing effect. Three dimensional morphing, three dimensional zoetrope effect. Extraordinary. So that's got some very nice effects when you have altered the speed of the motor. I'll try another one. Slow it down. Very easy to just pop one on and pop the other one on off. It's very, very easy to do. This one, I fancy, should be white. It's a bit like snowballs, actually. I'll leave it like that. So, again, wait for about 10 seconds. Every now and then you see some, something you can recognise. And then it goes a bit too quickly, and then it slows down again. It's a bit like growing snowballs, this one. It reminds me of a pyramid of snowballs. That's about, that's about, that, that, that's, I can hear the, the, the motor speed is about the right speed. Let me just try an effect here with this. Yes, you get an effect there where you get them all growing outwards from the centre, which is beautiful. So let's try the third and last one. I think on a green colour, this one here, which is my favourite, I think. Place it on it, push it in, turn it on and I'll dial through the green. That's the top round. There we are, a green one. So again, be a little bit patient with it and let's wait for 10 seconds for it to speed up to a certain speed and then it'll do this extraordinary action where you can follow a sort of morphing effect where it's growing or diminishing from the centre and it's rotating as well, which is an amazing effect. Double effect. Let's see if I can get this to stabilise at a certain... No, the other way. Oh, that's getting better. There we are. That's the one I like. That's the bit I like. See, each of them is coming out from the centre, growing and rotating at the same time. It's quite extraordinary. So each of them then can be taken through a series of speeds and controls, and uh, it's something that I could spend many, many hours playing with for the entire set. I think it's time to get on with the show, don't you?